So if you're a content creator or you want to become a content creator, well, things just got harder here on YouTube. Uh, going by the tweets that YouTube put out today and a video which we're not even going to watch. I think uh, the one thing we're just going to do real quick is come over here. Okay, all right, already. I already gave it a dislike, so that's a thumbs up for me over here. But back on to the tweets from YouTube today. It says, in studio today, you'll see a new setting requiring you to indicate if your content is made for kids. This is part of the changes we announced a few months ago in relation to laws protecting kids' online privacy. Check out this video for more details. I already did, and I'm going to kind of cover it in this video and just tell you guys all the horrible things that YouTube plans on doing to the plat platform to continue destroying it. Uh, they also continue to say this new audience setting is to help you better prepare for broader changes coming in January when we'll stop serving personalized ads on content made for kids entirely and disable some features like comments and notifications to comply with the law. They also go into mentioning some stuff about machine learning and uh, they even mention that in the video and how machine learning isn't even perfect, which anybody could tell you that YouTube machine learning is just broken in general. So I first found out about this when I was uploading my last video, which was the DNA test video. So if you want to check that out, definitely recommend checking that out after this video. Uh, and it says you're legally required to comply with Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, also known as COPPA and or other laws. You're required to tell us if your videos are made for kids, use the new upload tool, which I'm going to show you guys what that new tool looks like. So if you go to the YouTube Studio Beta, which is something we all don't like, and I think that's something we all can agree on, uh, and you go to settings and you click on your channel and come to advanced settings, you'll see this here. Do you want to set your channel as made for kids? There's literally that whole entire section I just read to you moments ago. And then you have three choices that you have to set. You have to either set, yes, set this channel as made for kids. I always upload content that's made for kids. No, set this channel is not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids. Or I want to review this setting for every video. Now, me personally, I had to click no, set this channel is not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids to not only save my channel, but actually, well, in reality, just to save my channel from YouTube. I'm going to post something here on the screen my friend Owen sent me like last week or two weeks ago when everybody was able to figure out their PI scores or P scores, whatever it's called, and then YouTube patched it right away. Well, he knows a way how to still do it. Owen, I'm sorry for showing this on screen, but I think it's important to be transparent with the audience and everybody that's watching this video. Um, literally, my channel screwed. Uh, I think I am deemed kid-friendly or family-friendly. I don't know what it is, but so YouTube doesn't want you to be kid-friendly. They don't want you to be family-friendly. They just don't want content creators in general, it seems like. In a moment, we're going to talk about all the things that if you're set to, yes, set this channel is made for kids, uh, all the things you're going to actually lose as a content creator. But I do want to mention there's a place where if you're a content creator where you can be yourself, you do not have to be censored, and it's called Storyfire. Storyfire is a website basically that's created for us creators to go out there and tell our stories and make our videos the way how we want to be able to make them without being censored like we are on YouTube. You go to Storyfire.com, check it out, subscribe to me, or you can also go and check out the app on the iOS store or the Android store and uh, check it out there. I'm going to actually probably just be doing regular vlogs over there because if I make vlogs here, they're probably going to be deemed family friendly, whatever, and then I'm screwed and I can't make videos ever again. So check out storyfire.com if you guys want to see some vlogs from me. Or if you're a content creator and you're looking to try some other things in case YouTube finally completely fails. So a lot of features you're going to lose as a content creator are these. You're going to lose your comments. You're going to lose personalized ads. So there goes your ability to pay your rent or mortgage or your bills, info cards, and end screens. So basically they're stripping away the video itself from creators uh, so you're not going to be able to communicate with the audience you're not going to be able to actually make decent money from personalized ads anymore which okay i understand you can't have personalized ads for kids but there's literally an app called youtube kids on your phone for kids there's literally an app for kids to check out and nope all of us have to pay the price unfortunately which is just awful like i said info cards if you want to tell people to go check out other video or end screens which has an option for people to subscribe so we're just going to click ahead right here without watching the video uh channels won't have if you're set to kid friendly by the way you're going to lose access to all this stuff stories the community tab and notifications like I said in the beginning of this video, reading the tweet, you're going to lose the ability to talk to your audience and then also you're going to lose the ability to get your videos sent out to your audience. So literally YouTube is just saying, hey, you make videos that are family friendly or kid friendly. Well, we don't want you anymore. Get out of here. Nobody can see your videos, especially if they subscribe to watch your content. 
and literally when I subscribe to the channel if I like their content and that's why I'm subscribing I'm turning notifications on because I want to be notified when they upload a video so if you just got to take away personalized ads fine I'm okay with that but don't take away everything else that helps me reach my audience or anybody that is a content creator from reaching their audience that has nothing to do with Kappa the only thing that has to do with Kappa is the personalized ads you're just trying to take away things from creators to make it even harder for them to be able to contact their audience I feel like this was an important video just to put my voice out there and vent my frustrations to YouTube and also if you guys are a creator please down below in the comment section put your frustrations out there towards YouTube if you're a creator make a video discussing this because at the end of the day come January these shocking changes are gonna affect everybody on the platform and it's not fair especially when they have an app that's already made for kids I just I wish that uh, YouTube was like how it was in 2016. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that sub button, turn on notifications. It's not like it matters anyway these days. And uh, until next time, it's been your boy Jeff. Keep it real. Remember to stay positive. Remember to keep a smile on your face. I love you guys, and well.